I recently got a question, a pretty good question at that from a viewer, and his query was this. He has a generator out on the middle of his, of his farm, and he needs to have a remote to function to send the signal, and not just send a momentary pulse, but he needs to actually have a controlled, timed, latched um, pulse to that generator in order for it to function remotely, so that way he doesn't run, have to run all the way over to it to turn it on and of course subsequently to also turn it off. So how he wants to know cannot he accomplish to do this. He has no idea, he doesn't know where to start. So here is the answer, okay? And I'm gonna give you a, a robust amount of information. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna actually bombard you with that plus a, a bunch of free information and not only just for you, but anybody who's watching this video. Anybody who wants to learn or understand more about how these little wonderful little relays can work, all the things that they can do, I am not gonna cover um, SB, you know, TD and double throw relays like these because I've already done so much with them in the past in my video channel. Um, if you look and just look at my archives, my older videos, I basically have a video on almost every application for these. But I also have a, P a PDF which is free. It's about an 80 page PDF and it actually will explain to you how you can use a relay to do almost anything and things you didn't even thought that you can even do with relays. And it's yours for free for the asking. All you have to do is uh, send a request to the email, which is you're going to see if you just look down. That's going to be my email address. Just say, please send me a copy of that PDF, and I will be glad to do it. There's no charge. Um, all I ask is if you want, give me a like. If you like my stuff, if you're interested in my channel, of course, subscribe. If you don't, then don't, you know. Uh, but either way, if you like the video, like it. If you don't like the video, like it. You know, just, you know, I'm trying to help you help me out. If that's okay with you. Now, getting on to the problem. I'm going to use this here. This is a, a basic middle of the road. It's nothing fancy. Anybody can use this, afford this. It's, it's very run in the middle. It's a middle of the road prestige. It's an APS 25C. Uh, it's around a $50, $60 alarm system. It comes with two of these remote controls. Now, for this guy who wants to use it, he can't utilize lock and unlock because these are just, you know, buttons that, you know, it'll send a pulse for about 0.5 seconds, if that. Um, however, it also has this little button here, which is channel 2. Now this can be used for a car alarm, of course, for a gas fuel door open, uh, sunroof open, close, trunk release, and an add-on remote start function, something like that. But for this guy, he's using it for none of the above. He just wants a 12 volt system that he wants to use to transmit a signal, hold that signal so that way he can do what he's got to do. Now he didn't mention if he was running a diesel motor, which is my presumption that's what he's doing because a lot of times diesel motors need a prolonged length of time anywhere from 15 to 60 sometimes even up to 90 seconds um, or if you really got an old crusty one up to almost two minutes um, to get that diesel fired on prior to cranking it over so whatever the case is I have the solution and the solution is this little guy what this is is called a 528T we sell these on our site if you want to buy them from us we have a pretty fair deal I think on them they're around 15 bucks now what this is it kind of takes a relays job which you can see this is a single pole, double throw, five pin standard kind of relay, okay? 30 amps. Now, understand that this here is 15 amps, but in most cases, that's more than sufficient. You can also use this to drive another external relay after this, if need be. Now, what this thing can do is really interesting because you can take one of these wires out. It's a black white on this one, which is the trigger input. And what you're left with is, is five wires, just like you have five pins on a relay. Over here, you have power and ground because this is an internally energized type of relay. And this one will actually work with an input that's either negative or positive pulse or a pulse that's resting at either one of the voltages. And if it disappears and it leaves an open circuit, that'll also be able to be sufficient to trigger this 528T. So this thing is really flexible on the input side and equally, if not more flexible on the output side. Right over here on the side, there's an adjustment screw where you can tune this thing in and you can increase the output for zero to 90 seconds. So you can go up to one and a half minutes with this little wonder. So like I was saying, you get your trigger wire, you're going to have your power and your ground right here. And over here, essentially what you got is you got 87A, you have 30 and 87, which is your standard pins as you would see on the middle of a relay. 87, 87A, and 30, which is common. Standard kind of deal, just in a self-enclosed little package as we see here. So what you would do is say with this alarm system you would wire your channel 2 which on our schematic tells us that it's dark blue. Now dark blue says negative pulse output for optional remote start trunk release window roll up whatever but you're using it for your generator as we've already explained. But what's happening is when you hit the button 
on this remote it's only going to give you about a half of, or I don't know if it's a half or three quarters of a second pulse, which is obviously insufficient for your job, which is why we're adding in this 528T, but that is going to be your trigger input wire. So on your system here, your black white is going to go to the blue wire on your host system, your remote system. So that's going to be your trigger input. Now I'm going to step back and I'm going to show you how I wire this up for this application. So if you're new to me and you're not familiar with my work and my videos, my tutorials, that's, that's okay. Uh, welcome to the club. But let me explain to you real quick of how my, my test display area right here works. I have a pair of wires which are red and black. Red signifies 12 volts positive. Black is ground. Okay. And over here, this here is my test light. It's a little weird looking. Um, it's actually connected to my power supply over there. And I, if you hold it down, it will actually throw ground. If you push it up, it will actually throw positive voltage by the wiring that it's connected to. Or, of course, when I just test it to the appro uh, approximate wire, like that one there is uh, and that one there is ground, it'll just light up as such. So let me show you how this wiring works on this 528T. So as I mentioned, the red is your constant 12 volts for this relay. Your black is your ground. Now what we're going to want to do for this guy's generator is looking for a pulsed 45 seconds is what he particularly wanted uh, negative 12 volts signal to turn on his generator. So for you I'm going to connect the orange which I believe the orange let me check my schematic Orange is 87A, so when I click this relay, 87A is going to connect to common, which is 30 on, the, on this relay's output. So, with all that said, let me just show you real quick. Red, 12 volts, 87A, and my ground to my relay is all set up with negative voltage. This here is resting with like a little bit of positive voltage. What the voltage is is inconsequential, but it's waiting for something to happen. Brown we are not using, because that's not needed in this case because we're not trying to open a circuit or close up a circuit we're just trying to extend the pulse of a circuit and then yellow so right now you see brown is doing nothing now I'm going to throw ground into the trigger and you can see that we have a sustained output which is programmable through this 528C. So that way I can take this, as you've seen, by taking a low transistorized output, like from my host system, like such, a, such as something like this, and beef it up to a 15 amp constant output with a time delay through this variable potentiometer right here. And I can accomplish that again, not just through a negative signal, but I can also do it with a positive input, or on these little 528Ts there's also a loop so you can actually open it and you can adjust it even further. So that's nice. I mean, there's almost unlimited options when you're using one of these things. So for you, that is your problem solved. Problem solved. If you need anything else, of course, take, take full advantage of that free PDF that I'm offering you or anybody for the asking. I want everybody to get educated. It's there. Um, it's a resource that I've had and it served me very well and I still use it today because it's just so much stuff that you can do with relays. So take me up on that if you want it. And I hope you enjoyed the, 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 the relay schematic and I hope this you know, showed you what you wanted to see. So there you have it. That's how you use the 528T and you make yourself your own little pulse timer relay.